In a previous video, I've looked at calculating the determinant of the Hessian, and in this one, we're going to be doing um, another problem, um, just so that you can get used to it, or maybe in the last one, um, I think I was using cosh or sin h or something like that. It might have been a bit different to some of the problems that you might have encountered, and you might have not had your... Um, your uh, queries answered. So for this one, um, we've got x, y, cos, x plus y. Um, so the uh, uh, what you first need to do is do df of dx, df of dy, d squared f over dx squared, d squared f over dy squared, and you have to do d squared f over dy dx. So um, let's start by doing df over dx. Um, in previous videos, I've gone over product rule and I've gone over um, partial de uh, derivatives. So um, you should be quite familiar with it. So um, the differentiation of df of dx, you hold the y's constant. So um, you should get um, of df dx um, y cos x plus y minus xy sine x plus y. This is using the product rule as we have um, two little parts here. Um, so, um, yeah, now I'm going to do um, d squared f over dx squared of x, y. Sorry, I've done that twice now. Uh, I meant to do a brackets and I keep putting equals. Um, so, um, now obviously finding out what d squared f over dx squared is, we differentiate this again. This part we don't need to use product rule on because we have a y, but this part we do need to use product rule on. So um, the answer you should obtain is 2y sine x plus y minus xy cos x plus y. Um, if I'm moving too fast for you, uh, pause, do the differential, and see if you get this. You should get this. Um, in the previous video, I think it's over 15 minutes long, where I go through methodically using partial differentiation, I use product rule, um, and I go through all these problems exactly. But in this video, it's it's to cement your knowledge, so I'm not going to show you how to do the product rule again. I think you might just get bored. Um, so now I'm going to do df over dy. Um, finding what df of dy is, again, we have to use the product rule on this. And uh, you should get x cos x plus y minus x, y, sine x plus y. Um, and then if I differentiate this again, um, when I differentiate this again, we should get um, minus 2x sine x plus y. Minus x, y, cos x plus y. So um, we have df, dy and d squared f um, over dy squared. So now um, this usually takes a very long time and a lot of pages of work. Um, but I've, I've done it uh, earlier so that I can just kind of show you how it's done. Um, if you want to, please pause in between each one and make sure you know this. If you don't know how to do this very quickly, then go back to my previous videos and start looking at how to use product rule, rule and doing... Um, um, partial di uh, differentiation. Um, now for the for the oh for the oh, there's one more thing that we need to do. We need to do d squared f over dx over dy. Oh sorry, there should be an x y here here and here. Um, please get into the habit of doing that. Obviously, I'm a bit sloppy right now, but. Um, d squared f over dxy, you take the dx term and you differentiate this in terms of y. What, when you differentiate this in terms of y, you can see here there's a y here and a y here. You're going to have to use the product rule here and the product rule here. So this is going to be a massive thing to uh, to do. Lots of manipulation, but by now you should have done so much of it. It should be quite straightforward. So you should get minus x plus y um, sine x plus y plus 1 minus xy cos x plus y. So um, here we go, here's your d squared f over dx dy. Um, so now that you've got um, you've got all these five things, you actually only need d squared f over dx squared, d squared f over dy squared, and this. You don't need these two, but you needed to do this to get these two. So um, writing something into the, um, the Hessian form is by getting it as d squared f over dx squared, d squared f over dy squared and d squared f over dx dy and d squared f over dx dy. 
Um, sorry, I shouldn't have put that dot there. Um, but now you have to get your values of pi over 2 and pi over 2. Plug it into this one, this one, and this one. So you're plugging in that pi over 2 into there, 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 and there. Uh, here, 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 and so on. Um, so that you now should get a bunch of values. So if I plug in, if I have d squared f over dx squared x, y, um, and I do d squared f over dx squared pi over 2, pi over 2, you should get pi squared over 4. If you plug in your pi over 2 into this, if I do d squared f over dy squared pi over 2, pi over 2 into here, you should get um, pi squared over 4. Now, um, again, you plug in um, into d squared f over dx dy, oh, pi over 2, pi over 2, um, and you plug it into here, you should get pi squared over 4 minus 1. Now, you um, have to put all of this into here. So we figured out what this is, pi squared over 4. Uh, we know that this is pi squared over 4 minus 1. This is pi squared over 4 minus 1. What am I doing? Uh, and this is pi squared over 4. So we have um, now got it to this point. Calculating the determinant, this is something that you should know. You multiply this by this minus mul the multiplication of this by this. So you should have pi squared over 4 multiplied by pi squared over 4 minus pi squared, let's do double brackets, minus, whoops, over 4 minus 1, pi squared over 4 minus 1. Remember brackets here because it's the negative of the whole thing. Um, so once we have that, um, we, um, we can um, multiply this all across. You're going to um, just literally multiply this by this, uh, you um, multiply this across, and you should get um, pi 4 over 16 here, um, minus um, pi squared over 4 minus 1. Sorry, I'm trying to do this in my head really quickly. Um, which then equals uh, pi squared over 2 minus 1. Um, and that is your answer. So that is actually your answer for calculating the determinant of the Hessian. Um, and see, as you can see, this is me doing it very briefly. But if you were to do this, writing out all the product rules and everything, you're looking at a lot of work. Um, they tend to, I feel, unfairly weight this in exam papers. Uh, they don't really give it as much, uh, as many marks as I think it's worth. But you're doing a lot of differentiation, differentiation upon differentiation, and um, um, yeah, it's quite tricky. But um, once you've done like three or four of them, it is quite, it's quite, yeah, it becomes quite straightforward. I know theoretically it seems quite complicated, but. Um, I know in the theory, if, you, if you're looking at it, it just looks like absolute madness. But really, it's not that tough. So here's pi squared over 2 minus 1 is the answer to the determinant uh, of this Hessian.